What up, YouTube? It's Misery's Company. In this video, I want to talk about a very hot topic, which is, is Diablo 4 going to be killing Diablo Immortal? I've covered this, like, in bits and pieces with sort of my, like, state of the game videos here on YouTube, but a lot of people have been covering it more so now because Diablo 4 is kind of on the horizon. So I figured I would go ahead and give you my updated take, and I'm not going to waste your time. My answer is no. I don't think Diablo 4 will kill Diablo Immortal. I think there will definitely be players that will be leaving Diablo Immortal for D4, but I think the most important thing is... There is a lot of people that only have cell phones, and that is what Diablo Immortal is at its true roots, is a mobile game. And I personally am one of those people, I have a great setup from, in terms of PC, I have a very, very competitive and like beefy PC, but I don't have time all the time to play on my PC, so I would like to play a game where I can play on my mobile, and then immediately transition to my computer whenever I can do so. And I think there are, it's, that's not an uncommon situation for a lot of people, and Diablo Immortal fits that niche perfectly. And through the good, bad, or indifferent for the game, it really is a good game at its core. Sure, I get frustrated with it. Sure, the monetization is terrible. But ultimately, it holds the crown in a very specific niche. And I'm, I support that. And I like the game a lot. A lot I see it so many times in the comment section about, oh my god, you just run in circles. Uh, and yeah, you do. But that's called the grind. And you will be getting power if you do that more so than someone else. Even if someone's spent money in the game, you could get more power than them by having a higher blacksmith level for your gear, which is really, really competitive in my in, in my opinion. And there's a lot of little things they're doing to help reward the grinders. The essence mastery system was part of that, although it's only level four and that really should be a lot higher. So it's harder to grind because I feel like everyone at this point has that. But ultimately, the game is not going to die. And I, for one, have no interest in playing Diablo 4 currently. Um, like I said, this doesn't fit what I can do in my personal life with between work, family, kids, and everything else. So I'm going to stick to Diablo Immortal. I'm going to watch Diablo 4 because I am interested in the game and the content. I think it has a phenomenal amount of people that are going to be making content for it, and that's just not going to be me. I will be indulging in such content, but not making it. So if you guys are interested in Diablo Immortal content, make sure you smash that subscribe button because I'm not going anywhere, baby, and we're staying right here covering Diablo Immortal. And the most important thing that will, will be killed after D4 comes out is the amount of times that we get to see this video on our YouTube timelines is D4 going to kill Diablo Immortal because I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of seeing a, seeing everyone talk about it because the answer is basically the same. Nobody knows. If you like the game, you're going to keep playing the game. Some people are going to play both. Some people are going to play one or the other. At the end of the day, D2 still has people playing it. So Diablo Immortal is going to be just fine. And that's my opinion. So smash the like button if you guys don't want to see another video about is D4 going to be killing Diablo Immortal. And until next time, guys, lock it in.